Whew. What's going on, everybody? I'm actually filming this intro. Actually, for starters, you may or may not hear this <laughs> audio as I'm talking right now, uh, depending on how good it is. I don't even know where the mic is on this phone currently. I have no idea what ambient sound it's going to pick up, but a little bit of a day in the life here. Just wanted to, just finished up at the gym and was like, well, I only filmed, I only thought of filming a few exercises. And so then I was like, well, I'll just put, I'll at least get these last three or four for my leg day. And then I was like, well, that's not gonna be that long of a video if I'm just talking over those three exercises and nothing else. So I figured I would just go ahead and get the first ever vlog type, day in the life type, whatever that I wanna upload periodically to my YouTube channel. So, uh, oh yeah, it's gonna be a bumpy ride. It's gonna be great. <laughs> we'll see how good the image stabilization is on this thing. I need to get a mount for the car. Um, but essentially, uh, today is kind of, we're like 11 ish weeks out or so from uh, Thanksgiving. That's kind of my like goal currently, my like end date currently is to make it to uh, Thanksgiving or and just be able to be consistent until then, to lean out till then, my diet's on point. You know, I had the opportunity to eat out last night and I didn't. I went and got hamburger meat out of the fridge and cooked it and rice and whatnot. And Allie, my wife, wasn't home until uh, much later last night. So it was an easy opportunity to eat out. A, we're trying to be better with money, but B, um, I just knew if I went to Panda, if I went to anywhere, even that has like healthy-ish options, I wouldn't have. I was pretty hungry. It was a long day yesterday. And so I made an excuse to, oh, I haven't eaten very many macros today. I can just kind of feast. Um, and there's some truth to that, but I don't have the self-control to do that. So I was like, the only way I can control it is if I cook it myself, make sure I'm getting enough protein in. And so I did that. Um, essentially kind of where I'm at physique wise, uh, I weighed in this morning. I was at like, after like our Michigan vacation, all the travel this summer and whatnot, I think y'all are probably tired of hearing me talk about my uh, weight loss journey and things like that. And, you know, it's just all been more hype than it has discipline on my end. Um, I mean, I really hope the, the audio is picking up here because I'm talking well and giving y'all good information. But if not, then I'll just voice over the whole thing. And, uh, but anyways, been, uh, Weight's been really good, like really close to the 230s, and then kind of back up into the 240s, and then you know didn't work out at all for basically three weeks straight between wife having COVID, didn't go to the gym, and then two weeks in Michigan traveling around after that. So three weeks not working out. Went a couple of days last week, but the diet just hasn't been there. Uh, finally, Allie and I went this weekend and just like grocery hauled everything. We got meat, we got we stocked up on protein shakes, went to Sam's, you know, got the whole thing. Um, it's all I have to say. I was at a couple days ago, like in the evening, was at like 257, 258. Like, yes, like I'm close to like the strongest I've been in a long time, but no, body fat is really high right now. So right around there, you know, I've got clients that are essentially blowing me out of the water. And so I've got to treat, you know, my body is my business just as much as my ability to coach. So I've got to show that I've got not just head knowledge, but can put it into practice for myself. So. This morning I was like 253, so we're dialing stuff back in, moving a lot more often, drenched in sweat from the gym. Um, so holding myself just to a different standard. And not even just, I call it flipping the switch. I don't do it very often because I'm a very emotional person. And so when I flip the switch, I tend to kind of flip the switch on everything, not just on, hey, I'm gonna like just kill my emotional tie to food. I'm gonna, uh, kill everything type of thing so i just kind of detached from a lot so i'm trying it different this time around and to be able to just have a better mindset with it so it's not so drastic of a just like screw everything i'm just gonna focus on this like just getting healthier and then everything else and just turn it be super robotic that's kind of what i've done in the past and while it's effective obviously it's not good for relationships and such around me so um gonna eating's been good workouts have been good we're two for two this week gonna go home now the protein shake and I might even make like a smoothie so I'm not starving right now I had a pretty decent breakfast this morning uh, met my worship pastor my buddy Kent and uh, one of his friends met them for breakfast this morning so I had you know eggs bacon hash browns that sort of deal prior to my leg day it was gonna be a pull day and then after having all that I was like I should probably hit legs put those calories to good use 
Um, so I had a really good leg day today. Um, just kind of hit whatever, and that's kind of in the mindset that I'm in right now with my training is just to kind of hit whatever I want and just kind of whatever I'm feeling that day. I mean, yesterday I had a pretty good push day. Um, hit some chest and triceps. Gym was a little crowded, so I had to kind of modify a little bit. Um, but today we did legs, so tomorrow for, for sure be a pull day. I tend to hit lower back on my leg day, so I did some rack pulls and stuff today that you'll see probably after this clip. This is like intro slash post-workout, but I'll go through and kind of talk through my workout, or at least a few of the clips, and kind of talk through what I did that day and why. Um, but yeah, driving home. I'll be home about five or 10 minutes, gonna mix up a smoothie. I'll probably video what all is going into that smoothie and just kind of do a day in the life type of deal. Um, got some programming to do with clients, uh, some people signing up starting next Monday. Uh, so I'm gonna start working on their programs today. Need to add some TikTok and social media type posts to put out today. Um, so yeah, over and all, good, good day, a uh, good start to the day and hopefully these vlogs and such. Uh, if this one ends up being pretty easy to edit and put out, then I'll probably do these a lot more often. We'll see kind of what the feedback is, but um, I know for me, I love watching vlogs and all that while I'm eating. So if I can make this decent enough quality for it to be something that y'all enjoy while you're eating or while it's, you know, it's background noise, then great, I'm good with that. So um, yeah, we'll see you when I get home.
All right, so we're back at the house. Um, honestly, just ended up not being very hungry. Uh, and so we set this down without making everybody nauseous. Um, <laughs> it's so low. Uh, ended up not being super hungry uh, whenever I got home. Um, and so I'm probably just gonna have a protein shake. Um, I'm trying to think, I don't really know of what else I wanna eat. Normally I'm gonna eat some sort of just protein and carb source and keep the fats pretty low um, just to help with the recovery side of things and help with um, hitting my protein goal for the day too. So the way I kind of have it broken down, uh, my protein's pretty much you kind of evenly distrib distributed throughout the day for the most part, but um, my carbs are usually pre and post workout is a hefty amount of them and then the rest is kind of sprinkled throughout. My fats are just kind of here and there. Um, it's usually the times of day that I eat them. Um, so nothing really special here, but I think I'm probably just gonna have a fair life shake. Um, I'll show those to you. So fair life shake, these are, um, they're not always what I drink post-workout. They're just the most convenient. Um, my actual like protein shake that I drink uh, most often is actually raw protein. Uh, Chris Bumstead is actually the uh, one of the owners for them right now. Uh, so this is actually what I drink most often, uh, especially within smoothies and things like that. Every once in a while I'll go through phases where I just don't necessarily enjoy, um, don't enjoy like mixing protein shakes, don't enjoy just that entire process, whether it's laziness, whether it's just not enjoying the taste and everything of it. Uh, raw is kind of my go-to though, as far as that goes. Um, I'm also an ambassador for that brand, so code Iron Mike for 10% off with them. Um, and then I also have my uh, pre-workout. I do one scoop of their pump product um, that I really enjoy, and then also two scoops or two servings of the Bumstead. They did a Miami launch where they collabed with Ghost uh, and Anaka, uh, Charlie's brand, um, which is phenomenal. Uh, they got a few of the what do you want to call it? Uh, a few in stock. You're supposed to. You only had to go to. You had to go to Miami. You had to go to the launch to be able to get it, and ended up just being really crappy. Because uh, I'm not going to drive to Miami, but then they ended up getting a a surplus or whatever form, or at least setting some aside for those of us that uh, are part of the team. And so I had to snag one, and it's really good. Uh, Miami Vice flavor. Um, and then during my workout, I'll do, um, Ghost makes like a hydration product. So I'll do like that in my creatine like while I work out. Um, but overall, all I'd say, those are the supplements I'm running right now. Uh, but for today, because I'm lazy, I'm just kind of a fair life. Um, not super hungry, still kind of full from breakfast. So I'll probably wait uh, another hour, hour and a half maybe. And then I'll have my, uh, I guess will be considered lunch. Um, that'll be probably close to two or three o'clock. Uh, and then I'll have dinner around like six or seven. So, yep, we'll see you in the next clip. I'm probably gonna do some, uh, I'm gonna shower, because I still haven't showered after my workout. I'm gonna shower, uh, do some programming for some clients that are um, starting on Monday, and then work on editing a little bit, TikToks, Reels, the fun social media side of things. Uh, and yeah, so we'll see you in the next clip. What's going on YouTube? Another post-workout intro video. Um, Cause again, did not technically directly plan to uh, make, uh, to vlog or anything today. But it is a Tuesday. Did uh, not work out yesterday cause I suck and talked myself out of it and immediately regretted it. It's one of those things where when I talk myself out of doing it because I have a lot of work to do, all it does is make me less productive. And so then I end up don't even working, uh, don't even end up working as hard as I needed to to get stuff done. So having to play makeup today, had a push day, which you'll see footage of after this. I think I'll probably combine it with the other vlog maybe and just cut a lot of different stuff out and try to clip it all together and whatnot. Uh, I'm not really sure what I want to do with these vlogs other than hopefully get 
some clips that I can post to other social media and stuff as well. I need my AirPod case. Um, but it was a good workout, getting back in the swing of things. Everything's been pretty rough for a while, rough scheduling this summer. I uh, still just trying to get everything back to normal. Uh, worked up to 245 for four reps on bench press. It was about as comfortable as I felt going without a spotter. Um, not, uh, I won't say it's terrible, but it's definitely, I should be a lot closer to being able to hit 315 than I am right now, but you lose it quick uh, and consistency matters. So uh, I'm not gonna vlog and drive today. A, I ramble and B, it's dangerous. <laughs> and so um, about ready to head home, gonna have to cook today, um, meal prep a little bit. Allie's got Bible study tonight, so I'm on my own for till nine o'clock or so tonight. So do a little bit of meal prep, client check-ins, um, stuff like that. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else going on. I think there's a raw drop on Friday, so make sure y'all use code Iron Mike for 10% off there. Um, some sick shirts dropping. I think Chris Bumstead also has a drop. Hope this guy doesn't back into me. Also has a drop this weekend. Um, but yeah, just trying to improve on a little bit of everything, workout consistency, uh, water consistency, carrying around the jug, but also trying to keep a shaker cup nearby. It's like I can't. Drinking a gallon while I drive is tough, and so I just try to keep filling up my shaker coat to get a gallon in every day. Um, that's kind of the goal right now. The workouts are are fine, but the eating and water intake has to be the priority, and it hasn't been. And so then the workouts are basically for nothing. So we're stocked up on Fair Life. We're stocked up on Gatorade Zeros, low calorie sauces. We've got all the prep stuff that we need. So. We'll, uh, yeah, I'll pair it up with probably the vlog from last week and some of the footage I got so you can kind of see what I'm eating. Um, and yeah, it's funny because I'm doing this intro, but I've also, everything else has been, uh, you would have seen what I've been eating <laughs> already at this point. So uh, yeah, I'll end the intro here um, and I'll show you clips from the workout and then anything else I end up capturing today. We'll try to make these interesting. Who knows what they'll turn into, if anything, I'll, it's easier for me to record this, upload it, and then take clips from it from social for social media. So who knows what this turns into? You may not care, but hey, it is what it is, and content is content. So somebody out there cares that I'm getting my water intake in. So uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next clip.
245 on the bar here. Pops are just gonna go for somewhere in the three to five range, just kind of get back into the swing of things here. So. See what happens. <laughs> Side notice, I stalled a little bit longer. Didn't eat much for breakfast this morning, so we got uh, raw nutrition's intra workout carbs that we're sipping on just to try to help a little bit. Had a protein shake this morning, but it's obviously isn't really going to help me energy wise in the workout, so we're hoping this will at least <laughs> give us a little bit. Loving the camera angles this morning. A little bit sloppier of a set than I would like. Honestly, it was a little bit timid. A little bit timid under the weight today. I don't have a spot or anything, so that'll have to do. 245 for four. Obviously, one of the weaker lifts in a while, but it's okay. We're gonna get back at it. On to the next.
part a lot. I'm vlogging as I'm like leaving the parking lot because I forgot to say the most important part. At, if you work out at Snap Fitness here in Rogers, it is like temptation nation. <laughs> Every single day leaving because like it's 1030 a.m. Central Time right now. And every day that you leave, Moe's and China Cafe are both like cooking and prepping obviously for the day. My phone is reflecting onto my face. And so you can't, I mean, you walk outside, you just smell this amazing food and it is the best and worst. There's been numerous days. Uh, so like Google, if you don't know, like if you check out Google and stuff like from your computer and all that, you can you know, obviously save your debit cards and such. And uh, so I have that. Well, that also translates to like your mobile device as well. And so one day I was looking up China Cafe's menu and uh, found it or whatever I'm looking and it's like, oh, order online, like from like Google basically. And so I like, started putting stuff in uh, like my car, like to check out for a mobile order. And then it like pulled up my card information, everything. I ordered and checked out in like a minute, like while I'm standing there with a the client to, you know, that way at, you know, 1240 when I'm finishing up, one o'clock rolls around and my lunch is ready and I just walk next door and grab it real dangerous, real, real dangerous. So every day I walk out and I try to finish my workouts in the morning before lunchtime. Otherwise I'm almost guaranteed to go eat at one of those places. So the struggle is real, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I'll get all my stuff out of the car in a second. But first, you've got to see the best thing to ever happen in the world. Tiny. Hi, my boy. Hi. Hello. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Hi. Hi. Oh, God. Hello, buddy. I missed you. I missed you. Did you have so much fun while we were gone? Did you have fun? He's like, what is this camera? Oh my boy. Say hi to the vlog. Say hi to the vlog. Oh hey buddy, you were so talented. Let's get you some belly rubs. Alright, bye vlog. Mm -hmm.